Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here from LinkageLegion.com and today I am bringing you a basement shooting test video. As the title says, we are going to be shooting the SR-47. I don't know who makes it because it'll say it on the title as of this moment. I don't remember who makes it because I didn't buy it off of any retailer. I bought it through uh, Popup, which is a buy, sell, trade, airsoft app, and I got this for a hundred dollars I think it goes I think it goes retail for like 140 150 something like that it's a pretty cool gun it's an M4 style build with an AK magazine and gearbox inside it's pretty cool if you play PUBG you'll know it as the mutant let's go over the features of this gun real quick going over like metal pieces and stuff honestly I didn't do a lot of research of this gun I'm gonna have all the stats as it's listed on evike down below in the description or on screen for you guys to see because I'm terrible and I came down here just like oh, I'm going to shoot the gun and record it. I, I didn't even bother looking up any of its stats or anything. We have a polymer AK mag on an M4 style body. We have a polymer front receiver which is also M lock compatible down here as you can see. We've got a looks like feels like cheap plastic front iron sight with a 14 millimeter negative thread on the front of the barrel. So we have a very small um gear i don't even know what the different type of hops are called but it's a, it's a little cog wheel inside there it's not the rotary but it's like the little cog in there very hard to reach it's very small in there if you can tell pull that back so you have a couple of qd sling mounts on the back right there a couple of sling points and you also have a mounting spot right here on the front now you can see I'm a professional, I'm totally prepared for this. I'm just kind of going over shit, whatever, so you guys have an idea. The gun is on, it's mostly polymer and plastic. I don't think there's really much metal outside of it. Looks like the trigger finger guard right down here is metal, the trigger is plastic, the outer barrel is metal, and the buffer tube, buffer tube is metal. So that's cool. Well, it's very lightweight, honestly. This gun, you could run around with this thing all day long. It probably weighs four pounds if I had to guess it's nothing crazy so I know the lighting changed a little bit I moved the camera but to get into the butt stock right here I'm not sure if this is the stock that comes with it originally this is the one that I got with it from the trade I'm pretty sure this gun is exactly how you get it online but you pull down that little tab reveals the space right there and obviously you have a uh, double fat like nim slot and then you have a long buffer tube so you have a decent amount of battery space the uh, actual Tamiya right here does not extend really further than that pull that all the way down you only have like two inches of actual space for the cord to go so finagling the battery in there is going to be kind of a pain you got to attach it first slot it and then slide it up get it down in there and whatnot it's kind of a pain in the butt but you do have a decent amount of space in there for batteries nunchuck styles and stick types we're going to throw in this uh 96 matrix battery right here this nunchuck so yeah we're gonna it's a little bit of a tight squeeze for those nims and then we're gonna, oh yeah, here's one thing I forgot. You guys ready to listen to this? Hold on, if I can actually, uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm not entirely sure what this means because I'm kind of a retard. I'm oh, sorry, people don't like that word. I'm kind of an idiot, but you hear that? I'm pretty sure it has some type of, some type of MOSFET or at least um, voltage output uh, controller inside. I'm gonna look up online. Again, all the stats will be on the screen. I'll confirm whether or not whatever it has inside, but I'm pretty sure it has some kind of computer in there because it literally leaked when I plugged it in. For this shooting test, we're going to be using some Novridge 0.2 gram bio BBs, uh, just so you are aware. Okay, so the tripod that I generally use for my chrono broke, um, so I'm actually just going to be using this end table right here. I'm hitting a water bottle. Oh. Alright, so 10 shots put through. Oopsies, that was the barrel. So average of 430 or average of 422, uh, minimum 410, and max 435 with 0.2 gram BBs. That's not so bad. Man, good thing I'm wearing eye protection. Those came right back at me. Okay, now we're gonna be shooting downrange at that target right over there. As you can see, it's hanging up in my punching bag. We're gonna be shooting from this line which I will show you is measured at almost exactly 35 feet from that target. And let's go ahead, we have this laser uh, distance meter by SND way apparently. Let's go ahead and little, oops, measure that distance. 3506 feet.
As you can see, that's actually hitting quite hard. Go ahead and uh, punch your bag, don't give a fuck. Now one thing I do want to note is that the uh, trigger pull is actually kind of long. If you guys watch my trigger finger, I get the right light. Okay, ready? As you can see, it kind of short cycles sometimes when I try to go a little bit faster. That's on full auto as well. I'm going to switch it to semi, and you guys, I'm going to see if it short cycles the gearbox. All right, that's not so bad. So on semi-auto, it seems to not do a short cycle, but as soon as I put it on full auto, it kind of gets caught in itself on like a three-quarter gear rotation. So, I mean, that could just be me um, under or overcompensating, but... Anyhow, let's go ahead and, uh, the mag, obviously, like, see, it's an AK mag, so you do snap it up and in, and then when you pull it out, you have your release, your finger release on the right side, so it's not ambidextrous, because this gets pushed out. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for the quick overview of the SR-47. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and got a decent idea of what to expect out of this gun. It's honestly not so bad, just kind of holding it and playing within here. I, like I said, I haven't used it in a game yet, but I think it'll be a decent little rental gun to give to somebody, let them borrow it for the day. And, you know, with the polymer construction and for the overall price, not bad, honestly. I think it's worth picking up for 140 bucks, but then again, that's just my initial review so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like check out my other review unboxings gameplays uh, any other videos i do on the channel and i will see you all in the next video later